Manchester United could see six star players return to the fold when they welcome Arsenal to Old Trafford on Sunday. The Red Devils host the league leaders as they look to bounce back from their embarrassing 4-0 defeat to Crystal Palace on Monday night. Eric Ten Hag pointed towards his side's shocking injury record this season before the Eagles even ran riot over United. Speaking before the game the Dutchman said, for over 10 years I am managing, I never had this experience. So huge, so many injury issues, so I trust all my experience, it can happen once in 10 years. Hopefully now I have to wait another 10 to have so many injuries to deal with. Ten Hag has seen his side suffer over 60 separate cases of injury or illness this season, which has contributed to their turbulent campaign. Read more in FOOTBALLALL at Bay Ten Hag loses job offer just hours after Man UTD's 4-0 mauling at Crystal Palace Charlie's Angel win Charlie Sloth's Mercedes G-Wagon or £100,000 alternative from just 89p however, the 54-year-old could have six crucial players return this weekend to try and help his side pull off what would be huge win against Mikel Arteta's high-flying gunners. Bruno Fernandes missed out on the trip to Sehurt Park on Monday with injury after fighting to make the matchday squad. Almost a week later and the Portuguese midfielder could be back to start against Arsenal. A huge boost for United who looked lost without him against Palace. Man United had to start with a centre-back partnership of Johnny Evans and Casemiro against Crystal Palace, but may be able to change that on Sunday. Most read in football rest in peace tributes pour in for former Premier League star after passing away aged 5-6 SKYS The Limit Sky Sports fans get boost as new channel offers more games at no extra cost weekend goals inside Kyle Walker and Annie's, Frosty, appearance at Rooney's mansion party moving on Mason Greenwood's Man United exit confirmed by Getafe amid Euro Giants interest best free bet sign up offers for UK bookmakers Fergie banned me from Man United press conferences seven times. I once rode with him in the toilets by Sun Sports Manchester United correspondent Neil Custis. Much consternation recently at the news that three football writers were denied the chance to ask Eric Ten Hag a question over three consecutive press conferences. The dismay did not stretch to myself despite being one of those placed briefly on the naughty step. I don't agree with such punishments for stories or opinions but Ten Hag has had to take a bucket load this season and has never been anything but polite and helpful. So if he wanted to do something to have a go back for once, no problem. It's all sorted now and everyone is friends again. Having been brought up on Sir Alex Ferguson press conferences and downright unfair bands of varying lengths, seven in my case, you become immune to middle-aged men having a hissy fit. Recent events reminded me of a lovely warm day at the Haydock Thistle Hotel some years back, where Northwest-based managers and writers were all invited to a lunch. Sir Alex was there on the main table laughing, singing and generally holding court when simultaneously all the writers' phones bleeped with a message from United's No Communication Department.
he had no doubt arranged for it to be sent bang in the middle of the lunch informing us all that relations would be suspended forthwith. Our crime was to use his words from a local radio interview he had done that week and the controversial comments he made within it. We were all fuming so, when he got up to leave I followed him out of the luncheon suite. As I ranted about how unfair his actions were, he ignored me and walked on ahead, entering another room. I followed, still ranting, but he kept his back to me and looked down silently. Was he having a rethink as his gaze remained concentrated, his head stooped? No, he was having a wee. We had entered the gents but, in my own hissy fit, I hadn't quite realized. I'm not sure what the hotel guest two urinals down made of it but how absurd the whole scene must have appeared. Defeated and deflated, I returned to the luncheon where the free red wine got a hammering and I sulked. There would be more such incidents, told and retold to this day with laughter. I always say covering United when Sir Alex was boss was like a stay at Faulty Towers, not particularly comfortable but certainly unforgettable. Lisandro Martinez is back on the training pitch and could come straight into the starting 11 to relieve midfielder Casemiro of his makeshift duties in the back line. Another boost to the defence is Luke Shaw's return to training which would offer even more improvement at the back for Ten Hag. Ten Hag's six worst defeats as Man United manager only Fernandez and Rasmus Hodgland have scored more Premier League goals for United than Scott McTominay this season and the midfielder could be another welcome return to the squad for the Arsenal clash. The Scott missed out on the Palace game with a knee injury, but is said to be due to return to training this week. Another star that could make a return for this weekend's match is Marcus Rashford who has still been nursing an injury he picked up during the FA Cup semi-final. The England international has scored four goals in his last three league games against the Gunners and would be hoping to add to that if he made the squad in time for Sunday. Anthony Marshall is the final United star that could make a return for the clash. The Frenchman hasn't featured for the Old Trafford outfit since last year, but is back on the training pitch and could be called upon given the poor form on show from Ten Hag's side. Title challenging Arsenal look like they will head into the game with a fully fit squad, although there have been doubts around take hero Tomiyasu who is yet to train with the first team this week.